Hey lovies! So today's video is going to actually be part two of my wash day from yesterday. In part one video I used the pre-poo from the aloe vera leaf um, on my hair and I show you that in part one how I did that so if you haven't seen that go back make sure you go back and check that out but today's video I'm going to be showing you part two where I use the aloe vera juice mixture that I found um, from another youtuber on and I actually use that with my routine along with a couple other products so if you want to see how I did that you're going to check out the next video before you do that let me just unravel two of the twist so you can actually see the definition and you can see how it looks okay so let me just get in a little closer you can see that they are very moisturized still nice shine okay so I'm just gonna unravel two I don't really have anywhere to go today so I don't want to unravel them all I'm just gonna let them stay in I always unravel from the top two oh my Okay, let me go back and grab one more. Oh my goodness. Look at that shine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very bouncy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so meet me in the video and I'll show you how I achieve these beautiful juicy twists. See you there. Okay, I'm back and so here is my hair right from the deep conditioner. It looks really nice feels really good so now we're just I'm gonna go ahead and do this this new um mixture that I did with aloe vera juice and I mixed it up last night and I do have a video on it of me mixing it up telling you what to put in it so I'm gonna be posting that in the description below so if you want to check out what I used and what I did with this then um, you can check that out. I'm also going to be using this and I'm going to be using this as I am as my leave-in. This will be my first time using this. So I'm, like I said, I'm going to be trying out some different products. So I'm going to try this out since I have very thick hair. I'm going to use this as um, my leave-in to do a couple twists. And um, we'll see how this works out. And I'm going to seal that off with my black... Um, Jamaican black castor oil. Just a little bit of that. Okay. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and section it off here. So yeah, the whole process, um, you know, it was with the aloe vera gel. I really, really love it. Definitely will be, I definitely will be putting it on my hair every week. Like, um, I was just amazed at how my hair felt, how my hair looked. It was, you know, gosh, when I got ready to, to um, do the, when I got ready to do the uh, deep condition and wash it, my hair was already detangled from the, um, from the uh, aloe vera. And I was just like, what? You mean I've been fighting <laughs> with detangling? Anybody who knows me have really thick hair? Or just being natural period sometimes you fight with the detangling situation going on and anything that can make that process easier is is wonderful all right so i'm gonna try not to talk so much but i'm gonna i'm gonna split this this one section i have four sections and i'm gonna split this section in half here Sorry, again, I have to look off to the side because my, my mirror is right there. So I apologize. I'm going to split that in half. And that will be a twist. And then the other will be a twist. So we're going to see how this is going to work out. Now, I'm going to take the aloe vera juice mixture here and spray it on. Now, this I love this, this sprayer, which I'll link that below too. 
got it from Sally's and because it allows you to be able to control how much you actually spray in there make sure I really get my scalp and then spray it on my hair yes yes spray that on my hair And then I'm going to just brush my ends here, detangle. Like I said, my hair has really been kind of detangled through this whole process of using the aloe vera. I am just really amazed. Like, why have I not been using aloe vera again? Tell me. I don't know. Even just putting that little bit that I just put in. Oh my gosh, look how it just detangles. If you have not tried it, please try it. Please try it. You will not be disappointed. Look at that. Oh. It's amazing. Love it. Okay, now so I'm going to use a little bit of this. Not too much. Make sure that focus. Okay, that's kind of creamy. Put that on definitely I always focus on my ends because it just seems like that's where I have my dryness at the most oh that smells really good smells really really good I'm just going to get that in there really good. I've been missing out on some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit, just a little bit of oil. Not much because I don't want greasy hair. And I don't want it to be so way down. I like to have a little movement in my hair. Like I said, I'm focusing on those ends really good. Just gonna brush it one more time. Okay. And then I'm just gonna twist it up. I always brush it a little bit more before I Watch the end just to be sure it stays detangled. Twist it on up. Twist it on up. I'm just so excited, you guys. I just, um, when you try something new and it works in your favor, like, look at that. Let me get up so you can really see that juicy twist. Juicy twist, juicy twist. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, aloe vera. Aloe vera has got me sold. I'm sold. Spray it again. Make sure you get your scalp. Because my understanding is that the aloe vera juice is very healing to the scalp. It helps with dandruff. The aloe vera juice. And the moisturizing. Which is the reason why, again, like I said, I even am trying this. Is because my hair is getting longer. And, um. This is so getting so wet. Just wrap it that way because I'm getting wet. Um. My hair is getting longer and I am tending to see that some of the products that I'm using, which I absolutely love and will always be my go-to, but I'm feeling like I've got to start trying something else or maybe my hair is getting a little too used to it or I'm not sure. 
but I always have to choose products that are very moisturizing because my hair is so thick and I don't I don't mind re-moisturizing. Look at that. Sorry. Look at that. Y'all. Okay. 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 I wish I could do like Cardi B say, occur. Okay. I can't do it. And she said, occur. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't do like Cardi B says it, but but you know what I mean. Um, anyway, like I was saying. You know, I got to find something that's moisturizing, more moisture, even more moisturizing to my hair. And so I found that um, I got to just start trying to try something different. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to do a little bit more of this. Again, oops. In that section. Focusing on the ends. Because sometimes you just got to try something different and, you know, see, experiment, see what works, see, can you find something else that you like? And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to be bringing you all along in the journey, telling you how I feel about certain things, some things I like, some things I don't. If you have something you'd like me to try, if you have like type 4A hair or you want to see me do a review on something, leave it down in the description. Let me know. Talk to me. I'm trying to get my viewers to talk to me. Please, I love to talk. I'm a talker. I want to comment back to you. Whatever you have questions on. Oh, look at that. You know, let me know. And, um, we can see, we can learn together. You know, this natural hair world, I love it. But sometimes it can be a little bit trial and error, you know? Okay, I'm going to top that off with a little bit of oil again. Not that much. Like I said, I like to focus on the ends again. Okay, so I'm going to speed this product right here um, as I finish twisting up so you don't have to just watch me twist. So I'm going to speed this part up.
Okay, so I am finished with the twist. I All I can say is that they feel amazing. They're nice. They're juicy, good and moisturized. They feel so good. Um, so yeah, I think this overall process or this overall routine that I did today, I will probably incorporate into my weekly routine. Definitely will be incorporating my mix, this extra moisture mix here that is so good. Watch out for that video. I'm going to put it down in the um, description box to tell you exactly what I put in it and how I did it. Um, yeah, so other than that, and then the, I guess, the overall process of using the pre-poo from the aloe vera was amazing. If you have not tried that, please try it. Just try it one time, and if you do, come back and let me know how you feel about it or how it did for you. Um, I think you will absolutely love it tried it for the first time for myself and I love it. I'm hooked. Definitely, definitely, definitely will be using that as a pre-poo each week when I do my hair. Um, and I definitely will be using the aloe vera mix again. Um, and I'm going to be experimenting on different leave-ins and um, sealants and things like that. And shampoo and some more shampoos and deep conditioners. I'm, I'm starting to experiment with those things. So, but these these things will definitely be now in my routine. Definitely will be doing this because it made my process a lot easier. And definitely will be doing the pre poo of the aloe vera leaf, the gel from the gel. Um, may try to do it and see how it will be if I leave on a little bit longer. If it'll make a difference. I did it for an hour today. So yeah, we'll see. I'm just going to be playing around with some things. If you have a concoction that you're using with the aloe vera, let me know. Let me know down in the description how you use it. I would love to, you know, just see how you use it and if you mix it with something different or what you do. Maybe that would be something I can um, try out as well. Yeah, so um, if you have not subscribed again, please do. I would love to have you a part of my family. I'm trying to, you know, get on the ball here. I've been gone for a minute and grow my channel and... Um, Put out some good content basically my channel will be about doing hair reviews you know trying products some chat sessions every now and then on different things um, um diys just you know a little bit of this and a little bit of that so i'm not really stuck to one particular thing on my channel i'll be doing a bunch of different things so if that sounds like something that's interesting to you please subscribe and come back and join me um every week i'll be posting new videos every week so yeah, so until then, I'll see you in my next video. Take care.